Welcome to End Gods. Two familiar faces are at it again. Ziggs fights for hell. Levy Kings battles for heaven. Who will conquer the new, lusciously green plain fields map? Four lanes of grass, one central lane of concrete pain. And now we can see decks and combos, which is incredibly useful. Uh, the Shinobi and Dryads are out. Safe, cheap starts. And it's all about how these players react to these starts that causes a chain reaction of events to blow up until the end of the game. Uh, let's look at these decks very quickly, though. Uh, we've got Hades and Zeus, Prime Gobies for Mana Redren. Strong similarities there, but Zix's Hades does have the ability to surprise and wipe clean that board. Much more easily than Zeus can. So Levy Kings needs to watch out for that. The Frost Wolf 2, though, is interesting to see from Ziggs. Knockbacks aren't as all-round useful. You tend to knock back the enemy units so you can group them up, uh, which is great if you have area of effect spells. There goes that Thor Chain Lightning knocking out the Araxia. Um, but the area of effect spells is just kind of a necessity when you group up units. And I can't see much of that in Ziggs' deck. I can see Jung Shi's, uh, which has already stunned a cluster on the Concrete Pain. Oh, the Hades has been fired, eradicating everything in its path, attaching onto the shrines of Levy Kings. Immediately out with the Deus Ex Mechima Mark II. And with these old the Hell's Gate dragging the mana regen machine closer, Ziggs wants to take this out fast. A good move right there. Um, I just know Ziggs is going to try and tag all of these Lava Orbs for the Shinobis. They're so good at finding a way around enemy units. I'm a little confused at what this Estelle wants to heal. Maybe it'll get something on the way back. Poor confused pony. Um, Ziggs needs to be careful, though, with his mana. All these Araxias that have been summoned, they're a drain. Especially with Thor Chain Lightnings, who will just pick away at them. Maybe the Jiangshis can absorb some of the shots to keep them alive longer, since you do get five of them, one down each lane. Anything to keep those Araxias alive for longer would be good for him. And I'm starting to sense Levy Kings wants to focus heavily in one or two lanes. You can see this cluster of units, and this is it, the Hell's Gate. It's like the only main area of effect Ziggs has that actually does damage. And it's pretty low on damage. That's not going to kill Thor, or Red Boy, or Perseus, or anything that is being healed by Estelle. Dryads and Estelles. Heavy healing. And you know what? Since there's very little area of effect, he could totally do that. Ziggs doesn't have any big burst. Big AoE. Honestly, what's stopping him? There's some Jung Cheese, which is stunning him. But that's only helping create a bigger cluster in the long run. What Ziggs kind of needs is to get these lava orbs in the back with Shinobis. Try and focus maybe on the bottom and top lane. I mean, even the top lane now is, is starting to cluster up. We've got three lanes with quite a lot of units in them, building up continuously. It is almost a race against time against Six now. He needs to find a solution to this because he can't kill any of them. They're not going down. They're being <laughs> healed up. I, I would say, honestly, use the Hell Gates to drag them back towards Levy Kings' as base. Delay them for as long as possible whilst you try and hit their shrines. Because that is not going down. His base is going down so fast, it's gone. It's match over. Congratulations, Levy Kings. What I'd call a traditional heavenly win. Ziggs really struggled with his deck at hand. It wasn't the deck to kill with. It was one to delay. Could it have worked? Maybe. Interesting idea and props to that. For now, though... My name's Anuki, and I hope you've enjoyed this cast. And this has been N Gods.